of us have booked hotels after checking rooms through VR? Or do we want to know what the experience is like to wear a VR headset or AR gears? Have you shopped online and selected items after attending a virtual trial room? If these questions make you wonder the immense possibilities of AR and VR, then keep watching. Hi, I'm Puropi Mitra and I'm a senior faculty at Vadbhani Institute of Technology and Policy. I'm excited to share this video on AR and VR today. AR is augmented reality and VR is virtual reality. The term mixed reality or MR is a catch-all phrase for both AR and VR that denotes the growing sophistication with the new era of technology is approaching this topic. In this video, we will be talking about what is virtual reality? What is augmented reality? What are some of the popular cases in AR and VR? And what are some of the things that AR and VR can't do yet? The definition as per Gartner is virtual reality provides a computer-generated 3D environment that surrounds a user and responds to an individual's actions in a natural way, usually through immersive head-mounted displays. Augmented reality is the real-time use of information in the form of texts, graphics, audios and other visual enhancements integrated with the real-world objects. AR integrates and adds value to users' interaction with the real world versus a simulation. Let's take a look at the difference. Virtual reality or VR is a fully artificial environment. It is fully immersive in an artificial or a virtual environment. Augmented reality or AR is where virtual objects are overlaid on a real world environment. The real world enhanced with digital objects is what we get to see. In mixed reality, virtual environment is combined with the real world. We interact with both the real world as well as the virtual environment. Here are some interesting facts and features of VR and AR. Some facts and features are, it was first introduced in the 1950s. It is a headset consumer market today. It replaces the real world with immersive multimedia in computer simulations. It completely replicates the environment and simulates physical presence and allows interaction. Some interesting facts and features of augmented reality are that the word itself suggests it augments or adds to the real world. It blends the digital and the physical world. It is an upcoming technology that uses glasses or headsets with smart devices such as phones and tablets. It is this real world element that differentiates AR from VR. Now let's take a look at some of the use cases that we have. Government can apply digital reality to a variety of situations like simulate environments, create immersive experiences, visualize and interact with data, improve public health and safety, and support investigations and case management, enhance maintenance. Today, companies worldwide are using augmented and virtual reality for many, many areas. To begin with, let's take a look at education. Virtual reality and augmented reality provide learning and training experiences in schools, universities, and also for training purposes. The increasing need for offering personalized learning experience and the rising adoption of training solutions in the corporate landscape is expected to drive the market growth. We can see some valuable benefits of AR and VR in the education sector as well. Some of the use cases of AR VR by government sectors in India are the Ministry of Industry formalized its support for NIFT Kangra in setting up an incubator at the institute, complementing the state of the art AR VR design studio on campus. Another such project supporting the growing tech sphere is the VARCOE initiative by the Odisha government aimed at developing IIT Bhuvneshwar as a virtual reality hub, the VARCOE initiative is an important display of confidence by state authorities in the promise of AR-VR technologies. IIT Madras launches India's first consortium for virtual reality, where the consortium will actually 
be around AR, VR, MR engineering mission in India called CAVE or CAVE. The consortium aims to enable research collaboration to be undertaken with industrial sponsors and participants from industry, academia and government. Another area as a use case is AR, VR in the government and public work sector. As per articles from the World Economic Forum from 2017, virtual reality and augmented reality have been called the next big paradigm shifts in computing tantamount to the kind of transformational changes that the internet and the smartphone made in the field. Global technology leaders including Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Snapchat and Apple have all staked significant claims in the VR, AR, digital land rush. Some use cases that we see are, are in the e-governance for citizen engagement and e-services, in asset management, in public health, wellness and sustainability, in transportation and urban mobility, and in culture, heritage and tourism. The third area is, of course, AR and VR in the healthcare industry. As patients remain in isolation, meanwhile healthcare organizations might consider launching or increasing VR programs for self-guided rehabilitation exercises and addressing chronic pain. Care recipients aren't the only ones who stand to benefit. Increasingly, AR VR technologies are being used in operating rooms and classrooms to help surgeons prepare for the jobs ahead. Some use cases are Augmented surgery, augmented diagnosis, augmented practice, virtual collabs between physicians and AR, AR in surgery. Another use case is VR AR in the defense and military sector. As per the VR AR Association, an article in May of 2021, the application of VR technology in the military paradigm is making trainees and officers better at using equipment, navigating a mode of transport, gaining experience of potential combat situations, medical training and more. One of the advantages of VR training in the military is that it offers the functionality to immerse users in a virtual yet safe world. This feature is what makes it so relevant in the defence sector as it offers military and defence contractors a way to gain the invaluable experience of dealing with high-stress, life-threatening environments from the safety of a training room. AR is often used to solve challenges or for training purposes. AR is effective for warfare simulations, military sand tables, battlefield visualizations and other applications that require a realistic representation of defense activities. Some use cases are firearm training, electronic warfare training, sniper training, situational awareness and experience, vehicle repair and maintenance. Another use case is AR-VR in the aviation sector. According to articles on Aviation Pro in the April of 2021, given the expensive nature of the aviation industry and the high cost of making mistakes, VR has now become a great asset for aviation companies to provide better service and train their staff in a much more accurate way. By improving training practices of airline crews, VR technology can make the aviation industry safer at reduced costs. Some use cases are aircraft inspection training, cabin crew training, flight deck training, in-flight entertainment, aircraft maintenance and MRO training. While we have seen some use cases, there are also potential barriers to adoption for government organizations. It can create privacy challenges and security issues. Getting legacy platforms and applications to communicate with each other is a challenge enough before adding digital reality. Achieving buy-in from stakeholders too can be a challenge, as well as inconsistent project funding is also a challenge. So how can we overcome these potential barriers? Well, we can. Balance security with cost to overcome the first challenge. Modernize systems using API-based architecture 
to overcome the second challenge. Run a pilot program to get buy-in from stakeholders to overcome the third challenge and try small-scale projects supported by strong leadership and track ROI is to overcome the final challenge. What are some of the things AR and VR can't do yet? We may have recently heard about groundbreaking innovation from social media where people have more ways to play and connect. It is the next chapter of social connections. Currently, AR and VR haven't been leveraged all that much. The projection is in the next 5 to 10 years, this experience of connecting with people will get further enhanced with VR and AR. We just may be able to virtually teleport and congregate with people across destinations in one place to socialize and more. Integrate images through AR and interact with them to understand them better. The possibilities are endless. If this kind of mind-blowing technology, which is revolutionizing the present and the future, interests you, then look out for more such videos from us. Until then, thank you for watching.